Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and what I have here today is a Pico laser projector by Microvision. This is the Show WX Plus, and as you can see, it's got a very small form factor. Just in comparison here, here is an iPhone 4. You can see it's about the same size. It actually is slightly less weight and only slightly larger than an iPhone 4. So what what's so great about this? Well, a lot of things actually. So first of all, it's a tiny projector that lets you hook up either like a laptop or uh, a DVD player or even better, an iPhone or an iPad to it and you can project out the image up to a hundred inches um, in display sort of diagonally so diagonally um, a video coming from one of those uh, video sources like an iPhone or an iPad and so it has 15 laser lumens of brightness and another unique thing about it is that with the laser capabilities you don't ever have to focus it um, and you can actually have um, project onto a curved surface and everything will be sharp the colors are really crisp and um, nicely saturated and another nice thing that I liked about it is that there's no fan on it so there's no fan noise so what I'm gonna do is um, hook this up to my iPhone and just try and do a, a quick demonstration there. Uh, just quickly before I do that though, you can see there is a micro USB port here and that's used for charging. There, there are some little charging indicators here. There is a uh, menu button where you can uh, do some on-screen controls. The power button is there. There's an audio out um, plug right there. This is where the comp uh, a custom composite video adapter goes in and this can connect to your iPhone or your iPad. And then there are up, down and uh, selector buttons on this side. And then lastly, you have the, the um, actual lens right there where it projects out. So the battery's on the bottom and I'm gonna fire up my iPhone and, and connect it and show you how it works. So you start it up by simply holding the power button here. You'll see the light start and as soon as it turns blue and starts blinking that basically means that it's powering up. Once it turns completely blue you're ready to go. You'll start to see an image uh, be projected. So what's important here is not to have the device connected to anything. So as you can see I have my uh, iPhone or iPod, um, my iPhone or iPad adapter here, and it's not connected. And you can see that it's already projecting um, an image pretty brightly there. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to connect it to my my iPhone, and then um, it will say on the screen. Hopefully you can see this, and I'll just project it down here, that it'll say ready to use. So here we go, I'm going to fire this up, and what I'm going to do is play a great Pixar movie called Up, and you'll see that it's, it's projecting right now. So obviously this isn't a very good way to display it, the lights are on, and um, I'm displaying at an angle here, but I wanted to show the crispness. So what I'll do really quickly here is turn off the light and show you how crisp it actually is. So here we go. And I'm dimming it down. So you can see, so the line that you might see on the video recording here that's sort of going down the screen, you don't actually see um, on the display itself. That's just filming in HD of uh, this particular movie. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of show how this, when you pivot it up, and I'm just filming this in my kitchen. 
and hopefully you can see how crisp this actually is and it's it's completely focused um, even if there are objects in front of it and so to illustrate that point I'm putting a a piece of paper here let's see if I can do this piece of paper here and you can see it's just as crisp as on the on the wall so maybe I can raise it up and you can see this a little better it's a little brighter on the piece of paper but it's it's extremely crisp it's focused on both the wall and on the piece of paper and the closer you, that you have um, the projector to something the brighter the the image obviously is so it can throw a pretty good image even in in uh, uh, complete darkness and in, in lighter rooms um, you won't get as good of a uh, projection but it's still pretty pretty darn good so in a second I'm going to show you something that you can do if you have a jailbroken phone that makes this even better so I actually have a jailbroken iPhone or an iPad. Um, remember that if you do do this, you can void your warranty with Apple. So do this at your own risk. Um, and what I've installed is this application called Display Out. And what it basically does is allows me to output anything that's on my iPhone. So I can basically give demos of, of the screens that are on my my. Uh, iPhone, you know, that sort of thing. I can launch applications and any application that I launch will show up on the screen. So it's it's uh, a great way to 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 show any kind of application that you have, a game or one th one thing that uh doesn't have display out built into it is uh Hulu, for example, Hulu Plus. So uh, with this display out application, I can now actually show Hulu Plus in uh, using the, the uh, Microvision uh, Show WX Plus and, and I can project a, a big screen of a TV show. There are many applications that now have display out. So um, there you can... Uh, you can get some of those like Netflix for example has display out but if I wanted to demonstrate you know some sort of an application I can just uh, fire it up and uh, show it right there on the screen so this is uh, a um, iPhone app of my the company that I work for GoGrid and you can see I can give a full demonstration of this application anywhere I go now on a large screen. So there you have it. So this is the Laser Pico Projector by Microvision. Uh, it has a 15 laser lumen out. Um, it's got a uh, 5001 contrast ratio and you can get images up to a hundred in inches in diagonal without any need to focus um, or do any kind of uh, focus management. I really like the fact that it's it's lightweight, it's portable, um, and it's no bigger than than an iPhone itself. And uh, the quality of the output is really really good. I guess my only complaint is uh, that it only has. Uh, about a two hour battery life it's not too bad you can power it while it's plugged in uh, again using the the uh, plug on the side here um, other than that it's it's a really good buy so if you want to read more about this product I have a, a, a pretty lengthy review on my website and that's at www.hitechdad.com and if you have any questions about this product or any others you can uh, reach me on Twitter and I'm at Hitechdad.